In this chapter, Debella talked about the falsification of history. But his context was made in discussing the phenomenon of flashbulb memory, not in the political or historical context of historical revisionism, historical negationism. Debelli explained that by subconsciously adjusting past views to fit present ones, we avoid any embarrassing proof of our fallibility. And subconsciously adjusting past views has to do with a flashbulb memory. What is a flashbulb memory? According to the, the APA dictionary, it a vivid, enduring memory associated with a personally significant and emotional event, often including such details as where the individual was or what they were doing at the time of the event. People often believe that such memories have the quality of a photograph taken at the moment they experience the event, and they believe with high confidence that these memories are accurate. However, recent research has shown that although flashbulb memories are more likely to be retained than the memory of an everyday event, they are not always accurate. First described in 1977 by US psychologists Roger Brown and James Kulik, 1940 in their study of people's recollection of public events, such as US President John F. Kennedy's assassination. Flashbulb memories have six characteristic features, place, ongoing activity, informant, own effect, other effect, and aftermath. Arguably, the principal determinants of a flashbulb memory are a high level of surprise, a high level of consequentiality, and perhaps emotional arousal. The fact that flashbulb memories can affect our thinking, it would as mentioned earlier, subconsciously adjusting past views to fit present ones, we avoid any embarrassing proof of our fallibility. In turn, we would thus falsify history as Debella suggested. Debella even suggested that it is safe to assume that half of what you remember is wrong. Our memories are riddled with inaccuracies, including the seemingly flawless flashbulb memories. Our faith in them can be harmless or lethal. Beware of the next time you make a decision based on a very vivid enduring memory that was personally significant and even emotional.